All right, again, let's start from the top. We're looking at um, at zero plays being on the 14-yard line and at six plays being on the 38-yard line. This is where your coordinates come from. You could do it one as a table, zero and 14, or you could do it as coordinates, zero and 14, six and 38. Now I like to look at this as my X1, Y1. This is the second stage, so we'll look at this as our X2, Y2. Now when you guys are looking for your slope, that's a change in Y over change in X. So you find your difference in Y, Y2 minus Y1, over your difference in plays, X2 minus X1. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to give you something that ends up in some sort of whole, whole number where you'll have four yards per one play. Now your point slope form is your formula or equation you use in order to get to your slope intercept and get that information that you get from your slope intercept such as your slope and y intercept. So I do y minus 14 is equal to 4, x minus 0. I like using the coordinate with the 0 because uh, when I distribute the 0, it just gives me 0. It's easier to work with. Easier to simplify. Plus 14, plus 14, y is equal to 4x plus 14. That's what this gives me here. And then from this, I have my two pieces of information, one being the number next to x, which is my slope, which I would put over one, say four over one, and the other one, and the other one, my y-intercept, which here would be 14. This is where, this is where um, you could plot a point on a graph where it intercepts, it intercepts your, your y-axis. That's your, that's your y-intercept here. That's what that is. Now, here I ask you to make your graph to have about 110 yards and about 25 plays. And if you want to make a proper window when making your graph, I would do it in a way where you're basically just showing your, your quadrant one, your positive x, and your positive y. And I would do your your yards in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 plays. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Five, about 25. That's a good window to work with. Now what did you have? You had 0 and 14 as a, as a point here. 0, 10 should be somewhere about halfway. That's my y-intercept. That's telling me this is 10 here. I'm starting at about 14 at zero, please. And then when I want to plot my 6 and 38, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 30, little less than 40, about 38. And I want to plot my, my 6 and 38 point here. Now, a couple things it asks you after, so we have this this graph here, you have this graph here, after you show your coach this information asks you the following three questions, basically it's asking you why did you choose X and Y as uh, your axis? Well, you understand that your X is your inputs because that's your plays. So you want to choose your plays as your x-axis because because the plays are the input and your output is the yards, the yards, and that's why you're choosing this as your y-axis. It says how many yards will we have in in total after 11 plays and what yard line will we be on? Well, we know we know plays just like we said is our input and we know. Our function is y equals 4x plus 14. So I could just simply plug in, plug in for x here. y is equal to 4 times 11 
plus 14, 44, plus 14, 58. Now the idea of a football field is that it's split into 50 yards. So basically I've gone 50 yards and I have 8 left over. I could take 50, subtract the 8, and recognize that I'm on the 40, 42 yard line of the other team. So you could say there, there, 42 yard line. How many plays, how many plays will it take to score a touchdown? Well, we're looking for an output of 100 yards for that to be a touchdown. So we're looking for how many plays. I could subtract 14. I could get 86 is equal to 4x. Divide by 4, divide by 4. 86 divided by 4 is 2. 6 It's about 21.5. But don't forget, there's no such thing as a half play in football. So you would have fell short of the touchdown. So you would have to use 22 plays. Now let's go a little further and say, okay, let's plot some of these points here, this 58 yards, and let's look at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 58. And let's look at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You have the 21 and a half. And let's look at, let's look at the 100. You could say it's 21 and a half to get 100. You could say that. But you know it's 22 plays. And here you've plotted everything. This, this would 100% be a 20 out of 20. 20 out of 20.